actually, Jeff, uh, we are going to uh, head everyone. to the dais. Uh, Jeff Begays, thank you. Let's uh, take President, a look and listen. We all know has issued three executive orders related to our homeland security mission. These orders will secure our borders, enhance the enforcement of our immigration laws, and keep our citizens safe by keeping foreign terrorists out of our country. I'd like to clarify that the most recent executive order does what it does and does not mean. This is not a travel ban. This is a temporary pause that allows us to better review the existing refugee and visa vetting system. Over the next 30 days, we will analyze and assess the strengths and the weaknesses of our current immigration system, which is the most generous in the world. We will then provide our foreign partners with 60 days to cooperate with our national security requirements. This way, we can ensure the system is doing what it is designed to do, which is protect the American people. This analysis is long overdue and strongly supported by the Department's career intelligence officials. Acting Under Secretary for DHS Intelligence and Analysis, David Glaw, uh, will speak to that in more detail shortly. Furthermore, this is not, I repeat, not a ban on Muslims. The Homeland Security mission is to safeguard the American people, our homeland, our values, and religious liberty is one of our most fundamental and treasured values. It's important to understand that there are terrorists and other bad actors who are seeking to infiltrate our homeland every single day. The seven countries named in the executive order are those designated by Congress in the Obama administration as requiring additional security when making decisions about who comes into our homeland. As my predecessor, Secretary Johnson, liked to say, it is easier to play defense on the 50-yard line than it is on the one-yard line. By preventing terrorists from entering our country, we can stop terror attacks from striking the homeland. We cannot gamble with American lives. I will not gamble with American lives. These orders are a matter of national security. It is my sworn responsibility as the Secretary of Homeland Security to protect and defend the American people. And I have directed uh, departmental leadership to implement the President's executive orders professionally, humanely, and in accordance with the law. Since the court orders related to the executive order were issued over the weekend, CVP immediately began taking steps, that's uh, Customs and Border Protection, immediately began taking steps to be in compliance. We are and will remain in compliance with judicial orders. We have also been working with our partners at the Departments of Defense, uh, Justice and State. We are committed to ensuring that all individuals affected by the EOs, including those affected by the court orders, are being provided all rights afforded under our laws. We are and will continue to enforce President Trump's executive orders humanely and with professionalism. Our job is to protect the homeland. These executive orders help do that. I'm happy to have my colleagues answer uh, any questions, clarify any positions that may be confusing. And we have uh, with us today Acting Commissioner uh, uh, of uh, CVP, Acting Commissioner of ICE and in, in in my intelligence or the Department's intelligence um, uh, chief.